You've made it to the meal prep stage. Kudos to you. By now, you've completed time management. You have the tools you need for cooking. You've identified the recipes and have calculated your macros. You've even shopped for the ingredients and now you're ready for meal prep. You've come this far and now it's time to put the pedal to the meal prep metal. In this video, I'll walk you through making two meal prep recipes. We're making one breakfast recipe and one main dish that can work for lunch or dinner. Here, I'll show you the practical application of what we've covered in our previous lessons. To find my first recipe, I wanted a breakfast that took no longer than 20 minutes to prepare and that could be prepared on just a sheet pan. I'm going to make sheet pan nutty banana pancakes. This recipe requires seven total ingredients to make, many of which are pantry items like spices and almond flour and kitchen staples like nut butters, eggs, and milk. So your shopping for this might be light. This recipe requires 10 minutes of prep time and 10 minutes of cook time. So I need to budget at least 20 minutes to complete the preparation of this recipe in total. This recipe uses a sheet pan, aluminum foil, and cooking oil spray, which makes this quick to get into the oven and quick to clean up. Let's take a look at the process of preparing this recipe now. To get started, I'm gonna preheat the oven. All right, now I need a sheet pan here. I need to line it with foil and then spray it with cooking spray, which I've already done. Now time to make the batter. The first thing I want is 10 tablespoons of almond flour. Get almond flour, not almond meal. You can tell the difference because almond flour will be white. It's slightly blanched. Add 10 tablespoons to your bowl and then the rest of these ingredients. A teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, three large eggs, a quarter cup of almond milk or regular milk, and a quarter cup of chopped nuts. I love hazelnuts for this recipe. I wanna mix that up. I'm gonna use a fork here to make sure the eggs are beaten and everything is mixed well. Perfect. I'm gonna set this aside and just let the batter sit for about five minutes to allow the almond flour to thicken. While this batter sits, I wanna get our bananas ready. So I'm gonna use two large bananas. And I wanna peel them and then slice them up. All right, the batter has been sitting for about five minutes. I'm now going to spread it evenly onto my foil lined and sprayed sheet pan. I wanna make sure I get all of this batter. So I'm gonna actually use a spatula to scrape it clean. Now using the spatula, I'm just going to spread it out evenly. That looks great. At this point, I'm gonna to top it with sliced banana. This looks great. All right, so into the oven it goes. It's gonna bake for about five to six minutes just until the edges are golden brown. This looks great. So now I just wanna get it off the sheet pan. I can grab the foil, place it right onto my cutting board. At this point, I wanna portion it off into portion sizes. So I'm gonna make eight pieces. Ooh. 
Now I wanna actually get these into my meal prep containers. And one portion is four pancakes. I'm gonna use a spatula here and just kind of guide it off of the foil and right into my container. Very easy cleanup. So these are ready to go into the fridge. They will last in the fridge for about five to seven days, but when you're ready to eat it, take it out, open up the container, and you wanna garnish it with a little bit of nut butter and some more chopped nuts. Ready to go. For the second recipe, I wanted to find a main entree option that is totally plant-based that I can enjoy for either lunch or dinner. This recipe requires 11 total ingredients to make it, so go through your kitchen to determine what items you already have on hand and what items you'll need to shop for. I wanted a recipe that would take about 20 minutes or less to prepare, and again, could be prepared on just a sheet pan. So I'm going to make sweet and sour cauliflower bites. This recipe requires 20 minutes of prep time, and you'll need sheet pan, parchment paper, mixing bowls, and spoons, and it requires cooking rice in your preferred method. Now let's get to the recipe. So the first step is to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now I wanna get my sheet pan lined with parchment paper and we're gonna start cooking. You wanna take a head of cauliflower and cut it into florette pizzas. I'm using small florets here because I want these to cook evenly and quickly. Now toss on two tablespoons of avocado oil. And two tablespoons of gluten-free flour. And give this a mix. You really wanna coat every single floret with flour. All right, I'm gonna take this cauliflower and evenly spread it on the parchment paper. I also wanna add about two cups of mixed vegetables. I'm using squash, zucchini, and diced red bell pepper. Go ahead and add these to the parchment paper sheet pan as well. Make sure that it's distributed evenly on the parchment paper here. And it's ready to go into the oven. Bake this for 20 to 25 minutes just until the cauliflower is tender and just slightly crisp, but not soggy. While the cauliflower and veggies cook up in the oven, I'm gonna make the sweet and sour sauce. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of maple syrup. You can use any sweetener of your choice, but I really like maple. Two tablespoons of coconut aminos. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. A teaspoon of garlic powder. two tablespoons of ketchup, and then whisk this together. If you need to thin it out, you can add water. I'm just gonna add a splash of water. Set this aside, and then you can garnish your cauliflower as soon as it's out of the oven. All right, the cauliflower is done. I'm gonna grab it from the oven. Okay, now we wanna coat this with the sauce. So I'm just going to pour the sauce 
evenly all over the veggies. And then give it a mix with the spatula. Make sure that everything is evenly coated. All right. So I'm gonna portion this out. This is four servings here. And I have my rice already in my meal prep containers. I'm just gonna add the cauliflower bites to the other side of the container here. And then garnish each with a little bit of green onion. Now that you've portioned out all of your meals, you can actually transfer them right to the fridge. Last but not least, you need to clean up your kitchen mess and you're all done. Over time, you're gonna get a lot of consistent practice with this and you'll begin to master this system of meal prepping.